Good morning, it's Andy with Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC Tune-Up Guy. Today is Sunday, April 26th. It's in the afternoon. I just want to let you know that I hope everybody's being safe out there. I hope everybody's uh, <coughs> staying isolated and separated. I was outside working in the yard. My eyes and my nose and my mouth is all watering from all the pollen and stuff, but the yard's looking better. So today, I'm going to share with you some hardware, and I'm going to share with you uh, one, two, three, four, five tips. Okay? Let's talk about number zero, Linux Mint. I've been running it since January 2020, full time, 100%. Um, I do have my development systems on the side that are running Windows 10 with SQL Server 2018 uh, development and uh, SQL Server, uh, what do you call it, uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 2017, 2019, 19 point something. But anyhow, Linux Mint is great. Um, it's stable. Uh, this morning I heard some issues with uh, the um, Windows updates causing some data corruption, data loss, again, on Slashdot. So look at my links below. I, I wrote a story about it. I've written about four or five different horror stories as well as things you can do to protect yourself. So anyhow, check my blog out. Um, check my blog out for the other videos that we've done. So Linux Mint, good job, guys. Keep going. Uh, Team Viewer 15. Thank you, guys, at Team Viewer. I want to let you know, hey, big double thumbs up. One, two, thumbs up. Um, I've got some... Uh, needs for your development team to work on for Linux Mint, um, not Linux Mint, but Team Viewer 15 for Linux. So, just a few things that I might send in as a support ticket. You fixed the last ones very nicely. Thank you. Hope that's improving your subscriptions, and I hope that I'm helping you guys expand your customer base because a lot of my clients are using Team Viewer now, paid for. So the subscriptions, good job. SQL Server versus MySQL. I'm doing MySQL on Linux Mint. The workbench is interesting. I'm getting used to it. But I am very much used to uh, uh, the SQL Server Management Studio. I've been doing that for a long time. So, Anyhow, if you're a big MySQL fan, send me tips, tricks, places I can go. Um, put those in the comments. How you learn MySQL in two to three months where I've been using MySQL Server for 22 years plus. So hardware, I've got some hardware here I'm going to show you real quick. Carbonite. I had to do a data recovery for our server this morning. The Carbonite um, had stopped working two weeks prior. The owner was alerted, didn't do anything about it. Their RAID array crashed, their server crashed. The good thing was is that they had local backups on their AutoCAD Rivet journal files. So we were able to get the client files restored. We didn't get the server restored because there were some bad capacitors on the motherboard that were failing. And they've been cleaning those systems diligently but never noticed those. There was like seven or eight out of the whole motherboard. So basically the RAID array was dead, server technically dead, it's over 15 plus years. So they've had a good run. Okay, It was an HB server, nice one, but um, bye bye. Uh, and they're going to go to workstations and cloud based storage anyhow. Okay. So thank you, Carbonite, for helping us out, James and Jenna. James, you're much help, more help than Jenna. Jenna, she wasn't quite sure uh, what our subscription was for server, as well as overnight data recovery um, drive order. Uh, James helped us out with that. So thank you, both of you. Uh, the Go Green PC Tuna. Um, that is still running just fine. Uh, we've installed it dozen times in the past couple weeks. Um, our retail has slowed down. Our business is still strong. Um, if we had a sales force behind Gregory PC Tunup, we'd be like going crazy. And it still works. It just works. Even with all the Microsoft stuff. I mean, if Microsoft was look at it, pick it up, even let us know, hey, yeah, you're right. We, we've never fixed that in 20 years. Great. Sign me up. Put me in the control panel. I put myself into your control panel um, because I can. <laughs> Uh, usability, performance, and stability. Okay, so those are the three things when it comes down to computing. I've been doing it for 25 plus years, 30 years, and it's always the right mentality. You want usability, performance, and stability at the right price. Okay, so let me show you this hardware real quick, and I'll get this posted, and we'll be back to business, back to work. Okay, so just hold still. Let's see, let's spin this around. Okay, so. This here is a gigabyte board that I've been testing with, and um, 
Inside there is an AMD processor. Oh, and by the way, this little video connector, that's DisplayPort video card from Dell. DisplayPort video card. I've got DisplayPort to HDMI, HDMI to DVI. So those connectors right there, just to run a DisplayPort. So this here is the one build that I'm testing right now. It's nothing special. It's basically um, an AMD FX 8350. That's all the processors. I'm not doing anything crazy. Oh, don't quit without saving. Let's just go over here. Yeah. FD. I had a guy on my, one of my uh, videos ask me what the BIOS version. That's the latest BIOS version. FD. Foxtrot Delta. I don't have any hard drives installed, but this is a pretty nice computer. Nice board. So, anyhow. That's my little bit of hardware for today. Oh, and this is an old computer that I am having to fire up because I've got some legacy stuff that needs to be done. So, that M2 N6 Bravo, the Bravo or 8 LA. So, yeah, I gotta fire that up. Had to go find some sticks of RAM. Other than that, though, that's, oh wow, big cobweb. Yep, I gotta fire that up, get that going. I got some old XP stuff I gotta do some testing on. Other than that, though, that's my one computer. Love that gigabyte board. And as far as the RAM goes, um, I don't know if you can see this. That's the RAM. Nice. Two eights. I don't buy eights anymore. That's just RAM that I've had. I buy one thirty-two gig, two two thirty-twos, put them together. That's about it. So anyhow, it's your hardware. Oh, and here's some of my old controllers that I used to have plugged in USB on the PCI Express one slots. I was going to show you the rest of my store because I torn it down so much, but I'm not going to because it's just I got so much torn, torn apart. Trying to move, trying to sell the place, move, find a new gig. So if you have a place that you want me to park my shingle, my business, as well as bring my customers, let me know. So that was it for today. Uh, Linux Mint, Team Viewer 15, SQL Server, MySQL hardware, nice. I got to build a shuttle this weekend, um, order those parts real quick. And I've got about four or five servers I got to finish um, tuning up. And Carbonite, thank you. I run Carbonite myself and renewals. But the renewal discounts never really work for me because I'm just renewing the same product for about 50 some clients. Uh, the affiliate program for Carbonite doesn't work so well, as well as uh, SSL.com and uh, there's one out there. Can't remember. But anyhow, and Go Green PC Tune Up. So that's it for today. This is Andy from Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC Tune Up guy from Mountain Computers. Like, subscribe, and share. And I will talk to you soon. So be safe out there, America. Good luck. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.